Recently, my video editor, who barely does any work, picked up Doom, Wolfenstein 2, and Fallout 4 from Harvey Norman. Not EB Games, not even big. W. Harvey Norman. The guys that sell furniture at the front and TVs at the back. But here's the thing. They were selling Bethesda games for five Aussie dollars a pop. That's a Steam code, DVD, and retail packaging for less than half the price you can get it from online key resellers. Which brings us to today's slightly controversial topic, the Grey Keys Market. Now you may have seen me taking key site sponsorships in the past and to this day, and that's because personally I don't see anything wrong with them. I quite publicly use them personally, but people in the comments section seem to criticize the legitimacy and legality of these keys. And the short answer is this. If the keys were not legitimate, then Steam would revoke games and Windows wouldn't accept an activation. But yet they do, and they continue to. To further emphasize the point of Steam accepting sites like SCD keys and even the notorious G2A as a legitimate distribution platform, in the Steamworks key generator for developers, the devs themselves offload directly to the site so much that it's a dedicated option. If this option exists in the first place, then that means technically CD keys are being generated deliberately for these sites to sell at their said prices. More on this later. The other big point some people love to make is the origin of the said keys. Stories of keys being stolen or forged for bulk distribution, then only to be followed up with the news articles of said keys being revoked in the user's library after the purchase have been published many a time. Yes, once in 2015, Ubisoft disabled thousands of Far Cry 4 keys because they were bought from Origin using a stolen credit card and then resold. Point in case being, a stolen credit card. And not to defend G2A, but they are a marketplace and not a reseller themselves. I think if we are to classify a lot of these CD key websites as grey market and super dodgy, then technically this context applies to eBay, Gumtree, Craigslist, Amazon and so on. They technically are grey market, some or even most of the time. You don't know the seller, you can't always verify the origin of the product. If it works, you pay and usually everything is okay. That's how reselling works in the modern day. But most sites will provide you with a money back guarantee. Yes, there are a few dodgy sellers, but that's to be expected. I'd hazard a guess that there are way more eBay scams than there are reseller scams for CD keys. Though we will never know since eBay doesn't release these statistics publicly. However, ultimately the core of a good business is buy low, sell high. So where do the legitimate keys come from? Usually resellers or hustlers are either getting bulk keys from the developer or when the game is on sale, mind you by a price pre-approved by the distributor and or the developer, and still after all this they usually manage to make a price that comes under that of MSRP. But there's also giveaways and promotional keys too, like those you get with new hardware and graphics cards. They're also another avenue for hustlers to make a quick buck. There's a really good article that I'll link in the description and they use the analogy of selling unwanted or duplicate Christmas presents. Case in point, or point at case. Even within my home country of Australia, if you have an Australian business number, or ABN, there are distributors here that can get you access to games under MSRP, and even with quantities as minimal as one. This can come under that of EB Games and other retailers by quite a bit, and technically if I wanted to, I could start churning out my own CD key business, just by making an ABN and applying for an account with the said company. Another strong argument, and I guess something that ties back to economics, is that not everyone is willing to pay the same price. So if the developers release cheaper codes, which usually don't end up costing them sales, on their main platform, and of course, and probably the most important thing, don't cost anything to make, which in turn gains extra sales, then it's a no-brainer. Right? Or wrong? I just wanted to add that in there. And lastly, if everyone buys it at a cheaper price than MSRP and nobody buys it at the retail price, then it's really just market research into how much your game is worth. This is also the case for pricing in different regions. The exact same games can be cheaper in some countries as opposed to others. For example, Tom Clancy's The Division Season Pass costs $39.99 USD, $39.99 Euro, which is $44. Saudi Rio, uh, 169, which is about $45, and Russian Ruble, 2,399, which is about $33. It's tailoring how much the game costs to how much people are willing to pay in that specific region. So really when it comes down to it, 
lots of gray market key resellers are just buying cheap keys legally and then reselling them to people who would normally not pay MSRP in their own country. And at the end of the day, that's just how consumer behavior works. Anyway, that's all for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, then be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comment section below where do you buy your CD keys from. Always love reading those thoughts and opinions as always. And if you haven't already, you might wanna pick up some merch, even though I'm not wearing the uh, Tech Air City shirt today. It's in the wash. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Yeah, man, I got the key, but it didn't cost a fee. <laughs> You're gonna take me back to 1993. <laughs> oh.